Hey guys, I'm making this video right now to show you how to fix your I can't find Java um, error when you try to run uh, like a Minecraft launcher or anything that has to do with Java. And this mainly comes from uh, my little Minecraft launcher.bat file tutorial that I made, how to launch a Minecraft with more RAM. I had a couple comments asking me how to do this. So that's what we're going to do. And the problem occurs because your computer doesn't know where Java is. So when you try to launch it, it's like, what do you tell me to do? Um, first thing you need to know is, well, you're going to only want, got to hear when that happens. You're going to want one version of Java on your computer. And that to be either a 32 or 64 bit um, version of Java, depending on which one you prefer. And what you're going to do to find that out is you can go to uninstall programs, look at them, stuff like that. I currently have two versions installed because I was doing some Java programming. But I'm going to do it with a 64 bit version of Java 6. So what you're going to do is open up your documents, browse to your C drive or your main hard drive, whatever it is. Now go to your 64-bit is just program files, 32-bit is x86. So I'm going to go into my program files, find your Java folder, double click it, and then go into, you should only have one here, that's JRE6, my Java Runtime Environment 6. Then once you're here, go to your bin, and then once you're in your bin, you're going to browse down and you should see something called like Java Java with a W dot exe. And that's what we're trying to run with this program over here. So this is not where that is. You can just choose any of these things. doesn't really matter. I'm going to choose unpack, go to properties. And then this location right here is what you're going to need. It's in C, program files, Java, JRE6, slash bin. You need the bin on the end. If you don't have that, you can just go ahead and add it or try again. So we're going to copy that. I'm just going to copy it twice, three times for good luck, third time for charm. Um, press cancel, it doesn't really matter. Close out of that window. And now you're going to go to My Computer or Computer and right click and press Properties. Should open up like this. And now you're going to go to Advanced System Settings. And it should come up with a page that looks like this. Go down beneath Setup and Recovery, should be Environment and Variables. Click that. And now, see, I've already done this to my computer because I did some programming in Java, but in the variable path, it's going to look like you might not even have this, but it could be something else. So you're going to press New. And you're going to call it just like this, exactly, P-A-T-H, capital P. And then you're going to paste in the C program files, Java 6, blah, blah, blah. Press OK on that. I already have it, so I'm going to press Cancel. Press OK down here. Press OK. And now when you run this... It should open and close. It shouldn't give you any problems. Well, it doesn't matter what you're running. It could be something else. But you should not get the cannot find Java problem anymore. It's going to open up. Bada bing, bada boom. You should be good to go. Thanks for watching, guys.